Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to physics class. Today we are going to discuss a new topic, the human eye. Okay, in this topic we are going to discuss the structure of a human eye and what are the main parts of the human eye and its functions. Okay, after that we are going to discuss what are the defects of human eye and how to correct these defects. Okay, this is the topic today we are going to discuss. Okay, now we are going to discuss the structure of the eye and the parts of the eye and its functions. Okay, the main parts of a human eye are the first one cornea, then iris, pupil, ciliary muscles, crystalline lens, retina, optical nerves, etc. Okay, what are the main parts of the human eye? Cornea, iris, pupil, ciliary muscles, crystalline lens and retina and optical nerves or optic nerves etc. These are the main parts of the human eye. And next we are going to discuss what are the functions of these uh, parts of human eye. The first one crystalline lens that is lens. And this is composed of a fibrous jelly proteinous like material and it is converging in nature and the focus the incoming light rays from the object on the retina. Okay, the main function of this crystalline lens is focuses the incoming light rays from the object on the retina. Okay, these are the characteristics or functions of crystalline lens and this is a convex lens. Okay, this crystalline lens or our eye lens is a convex lens that is a converging lens. Okay. And the second one is cornea. Okay, a cornea, a thin membrane covering the surface of eyeball. Okay, surface of eyeball through which light enter into the eye. Okay, through which light enter into the eye and it act as a primary lens. Okay, this cornea is act as a primary lens. Okay, and third one, iris. Iris is a dark muscular diaphragm located just behind the cornea. Okay, it is a dark muscular diaphragm. Okay, diaphragm is a covering. Okay, muscular diaphragm located just behind the coron. Sorry, cornea. Okay. And it controls the size of the pupil. Okay, it controls the size of the pupil. Okay, then next one is pupil. A pupil, a black opening between the aqueous humor and the eye lens. Okay, in figure you see the aqueous humor. Okay, here. A, bla uh, a black opening between the aqueous humor and the eye lens. Okay, it is a pupil. It regulates and control the amount of light entering the eyes. Okay, it control the light entering the eye or regulates. Okay, regulate and controls the amount of light entering the eye. Okay, this is the function of a pupil. Then ciliary muscles. Ciliary muscles is a modify the curvature or it modify the curvature and focus of the eye lens. Okay, focus of the eye lens and hold the eye lens in position. Okay, hold the it hold the eye lens in position. 
okay what are the functions one is modify the curvature and focus of the eye lens and it hold the eye lens in position okay then next one is retina okay retina retina is a delicate membrane having enormous number of light sensitive cell okay that is a delicate membrane it is a delicate membrane having enormous number of light sensitive cells and it acts as or it acts like a screen okay it acts like a screen and a real inverted and diminished image is formed by the eye lens on it okay a real inverted and diminished image is formed by the eye lens on it okay this is the function of a retina okay these are the main important parts and one more thing the optic nerves okay this optic nerves will pass a message to brain that is this uh, image impulse okay image formed in a impulse that send a message or this optic nerves are send a message or impulse to the brain and in brain the image is get a erect image okay we get a erect image clear okay and the next one is aqueous humor this aqueous humor it provides power to cornea okay this aqueous humor it provide the power to corona okay and the next one is vitreous humor this vitreous humor uh, filled between eye lens and uh, retina okay this vitreous humor filled between eye lens and uh, retina and keep retina in place by pressing it against the choroid okay against the choroid that is keep retina in place by pressing it again okay against the choroid okay and these are the uh, main parts of the human eye okay i hope you all are understand this parts or structure of the human eye okay next we are going to discuss the topic the defects of vision okay next we are going to discuss the topic uh, defects of vision okay before explaining this defect of vision we want to study the important terms related to our vision okay the term that is that important terms related to uh, the vision are the first one is near point okay near point and the second one is far point okay first one near point and second one far point and third one is power of accommodation okay power of accommodation after this three terms explaining we go to discuss the defect of visions okay what is the first one the first one is near point okay near point near point is the nearest point okay the nearest point at which the object can be seen distinctly okay can be seen distinctly that is the nearest point of vision okay that is the nearest point of vision is called near point okay the near point of an eye of an eye with a healthy vision is 25 cm okay is 25 cm clear okay and the second one is and the second one far point the far point is the farthest okay is the farthest point 
at which the object can okay the object can be seen distinctly okay the far point is the farthest point okay farthest point at which the object can be seen distinctly clear okay the far point of an eye with a healthy vision is at infinity okay that is our longest distance vision is per at infinity okay at infinity this is the uh, near and the next one is power of accommodation okay power of accommodation here the power of accommodation is the ability of the eye to form an image on the retina okay we have the image is formed at retina okay by adjusting the focal length of the lens okay by adjusting the focal length of the lens in the eye by varying or by changing the curvature of the lens okay irrespective of the position of the object is the power of accommodation okay it is the power of accommodation okay these are the important terms uh, related to our vision that is far point sorry near point far point and a power of accommodation okay next we are going to discuss the defect of vision okay here we are going to discuss three defects of visions one is hypermetropia or long sightedness or far sightedness okay and the second one is myopia okay myopia it is uh, short sightedness okay it is also got short sightedness okay and the third one third one is astigmatism okay third one is astigmatism okay these are the defects of vision or here we are discussing these three defects of visions okay and the first one hypermetropia okay hypermetropia what is hypermetropia or what is the defect of this vision okay defects of vision of hypermetropia okay in the case of hypermetropia the near object okay the near object cannot be seen clearly okay near object cannot be seen clearly even though the distant objects okay the distant object can see clearly this defect is called this defect is called hypermetropia okay hypermetropia in this case the near point listen the near point of vision or the near point of vision is more than 25 cm okay more than 25 cm clear and in this case uh, the image of the uh, distant object is formed behind the retina okay behind the retina uh, you see this ray diagram of this defect that is hypermetropic eye Uh, ray diagram is given in this diagram we see the image is formed behind the retina okay behind the retina and what is the cause of this defect here the main cause of the defects are one is the focal length of the eye lens is increasing okay increasing the focal length of the eye and the second one is the eyeball size is reducing or decreasing okay the eyeball size is decreasing okay these are the causes of this defect okay and how to correct this defect okay by using a convex lens we correct this defect 
this is the diagram for corrected eye okay this defect corrected eye okay clear okay this is hypermetropia clear okay okay next we are going to discuss the second defect that is myopia okay myopia in this case the nearby object can be seen clearly okay nearby object can see clearly but they may not be able to they may not be able to see distant object clearly okay this type of defect is called what myopia or short sightedness or near sightedness okay that is in this case the near point of such a persons will not be at infinity it will be at a definite distance from the eye okay this is the ray diagram of defected eye and the cause of this defect of vision is first one is the focal length is decreasing okay the focal length is decreasing and the second one is the eyeball size is increasing or the larger size of eyeball is the cause of this defect okay you might have seen elderly people that is aged people reading newspaper by holding it at a distance what is the reason for that that is discussing the next defect of vision that that defect of vision is presbyopia okay that is next we are going to discuss the and uh, next defect of vision that is presbyopia okay for a healthy vision what is the distance to the near point hmm? uh, what is the distance to the near point for healthy vision ah uh, it is 25 cm okay for elderly people or the aged people the distance to the near point is greater than 25 cm what is the meaning of that sentence that is if the age is increasing okay if the age is increasing the distance to the near point is also increased that is it is greater than 25 cm that is near point is increasing okay this is due to the diminishing ability of the ciliary muscles what this is due to the diminishing ability of the ciliary muscles that is if the age is increasing that time the near point also increased what is the reason for that or the cause of that situation the diminishing ability of the ciliary muscles okay for such a people or for such people the power of accommodation will be less okay the power of accommodation will be less okay the power of accommodation uh, we already discussed in the last session okay that is the power of accommodation will be less this is called presbyopia okay this is called presbyopia that is for elderly people the distance to the near point is greater than 25 cm it is due to the diminishing ability of the ciliary muscles at that time the power of accommodation will be less okay the power of accommodation will be less okay this defect is called presbyopia okay presbyopia and this can be overcome using a bifocal lens of suitable power okay this can be overcome using bifocal lens okay a bifocal lens means uh, it is it consists of concave and a con convex lens okay a bifocal lens uh, consists of what ah uh, concave lens and a 
convex lens that is a combination of concave and convex lens okay in the case of bifocal lens uh, the upper part of that lens is concave lens that uh, facilitate uh, it to facilitate the distant vision and uh, lower part okay or uh, bottom consists of convex lens and it to facilitate uh, the distant vision uh, sorry near vision okay near vision okay this is presbyopia clear okay that is here we discussed uh, three defects of vision that is hypermetropia myopia and presbyopia okay i hope you all are understand this defect of visions okay okay i hope you all are understand today's class that is uh, the human eye the structure of human eye and the defects of human eye okay